All right, uh, this is another video response, um, specifically to every video that uh, the user Linux fails and to all his other screen names on YouTube that he has because he has a lot of them because he has to keep up the facade of a following. Now, this is a lesson for him on how file systems work particularly the NTFS file system which Windows 7 uses um, and extended 3 or 4 take your pick 4 is the newest um, and how they work and how they write and specifically to his one video where he was showing how uh, the difference between Windows 7 and, and Linux is speed wise writing to the disk uh, is a very good reason why Windows was a little faster than Linux. Uh, and it has to do with how the file systems work. Uh, first, NTFS. Okay, uh, it's the same for any Microsoft uh, file system. Um, FAT16, FAT32, they all work the same way. Uh, and basically, wherever let's say this is the head, wherever the head is when it's moving, when it needs to write, it will write. So if the head is here when it needs to write a bit of data it's going to write that bit of data so as the head moves and then it's going to write the next bit wherever the head lies and then wherever the head lies and it's going to come back and it's going to write okay so that's let's say that's one piece of a file that's one one file as the head moved as the disk was spinning it wrote bits of that file wherever it could uh, in, in whatever block was open near where it was uh, so over time as it writes you end up with you know pieces of file here and then the other piece of the file way down here and another piece of the file way over here um, so Windows writes very quickly because it writes wherever the head is uh, for the uh, for the hard drive um, so it's going to write fairly quickly uh, problem is it gets fragmented very quickly which means when it needs to read if these two pieces and this piece and these two pieces are a file the disk has to go and find these two that has to come and find these two and the disk might have to spin several hundred revolutions before it can even read all the uh, pieces of that file now on the other hand um, the extended file system writes uh, contiguously and in order so uh, as it's going to write it's going to write it's let's say that a, a file is three blocks uh, big. It's going to write in the first available block, following by the next available block, following by the next available block. So there's three blocks of that file. Now let's say it took about three and a half blocks. Well, it would write these three blocks and then it would fill in a half a block. So let's say two and this this uh, file is going to take up two and a half blocks. Well, it's going to find the next open block. It's going to fill that up fill the second one up, fill up what it needs of that block, and then the next file will start in the next open block. Now let's say that you have a, f uh, a file, uh, and uh, let's just go to here. Let's ignore, the, ignore this row, okay? Let's just say that um, here's your, your re representation of the blocks open um, on a drive and let's say you have these two are filled with information and for whatever reason um, there's a couple blocks here filled okay now what Linux or not Linux the extended file system whatever platform is running on is going to work the same way it doesn't matter if it's on Linux or any other kind of operating system um, it's going to start let's say it has a file five blocks long Okay, it's going to take up five blocks of space. Well, the hard drive, the extended file system is going to fill up the first block, the second block, the third block. It's going to skip these two blocks and fill in the next two blocks. Now, these three and these two are part of a file. This is a, another file and this is another file. Now, even though this is fragmented, it's right in line it's only two blocks away so even though it's fragmented it will still read faster than a fragmented Windows disk you will not even notice the fragmentation affect the read speed at all because everything is in line so even though you have a file that's that's fragmented 
it's all in line so the head is going to read it's going to read these two it's going to skip two more blocks and read the next two blocks instantaneously it's not going to have to let the disc spin a few times to find all the blocks the head's not going to have to search all over to find all the blocks like the NTFS file system like let's say these two and these two and this one is part of a file that head's got to go all over the place it's going to go all over the place to find all those bits and pieces and then the next file it's got to find all the bits and pieces it takes longer the windows disk gets fragmented very quickly it has no concern for where it writes that's why it needs to be defragged extended 3 and 4 file systems don't need to be defragged because even when it's fragmented all the bits and pieces of the file are in line it can still read them very fast therefore there is no hard drive thrashing and it is the speed is not affected by the fragmentation and this is why extended file systems do not need a defrag so if you are running Linux on an extended file system whether it's extended 3 or 4 you don't need a defragmentation tool because even though it's fragmented all of the bits and pieces of each file are so close that the hard drive does not have to work as hard to find all the bits and pieces because it's right there so as to your you know uh, windows reads faster etc blah 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 fail complete fail you gotta compare apples to apples not apples to oranges and that's what you're doing you're skewing your results so that it makes you look right and you're not right now you want to do a real test take take an NTFS file system and then mount, li mount it on Linux and then do your test and then mount the same thing in Windows 7 and do the same test you'll be kind of surprised at the results you won't want to show those results either um, and let me clue you in. In order to do that, you need to know how to recompile the kernel because it does not, by default, come with NTFS support enabled. You have to recompile a new kernel and install it with NTFS support enabled. Okay. I doubt you know how to do that. You can look it up online there if you want. I'll send you all the instructions on how to do it in in uh, a message through YouTube. But um, as far as you know. Windows reading or writing faster than Linux it's it's again it's not Linux it's the way it works okay and Linux can read much faster and over time Linux will not be affected by fragmentation like Windows will it won't you will never see a decrease in speed no matter how fragmented it works I have a server that's been running three years and I use it. it's a file server it has stuff written on it and erased and changed on it all the time and it has less than 3% fragmentation and it's never been defragged there's no need to defrag it it just it, you don't need to it does not affect extended file systems performance because of the way it writes